Innovation has always been the cornerstone of Michelin's presence in the world tire market. From the first detachable pneumatic tire in the early 1890s to the introduction of duels in 1908, Michelin has been identifying solutions to help truckers for over a century. With weight savings of 800 to 1300 pounds and fuel savings of between 4 and 8 percent, the X1 is just the partner today's operations managers are looking for to squeeze more profits out of already tight margins. The X1 from Michelin, just the latest in a proud history of tire innovation. X1 tires have many advantages over dual tire systems. However, a major concern among driving professionals is how controllable they are during blowout situations, especially over a dual tire fitment. International Truck and Engine, along with Heil Trailer International, graciously allowed Michelin to prove just how controllable blowouts can be, no matter where they occur on a rig, whether it's the steer, drive or trailer axle positions. In order to make this demonstration more realistic, the vehicle is fully loaded to approximately 78,000 pounds. We'll blow out steer, drive and trailer axle tires. It will be an interesting day. We begin by preparing our tires to blow out by using C4 explosives and a blasting cap. Using explosives gives us the ability to control the size of the opening. In this case, we'll blast a six-inch opening in the upper sidewall of the tire, creating the sound of a blowout and an instantaneous and complete loss of air pressure. First, we skive out a predetermined portion of sidewall rubber. We then glue the explosives into the prepared area and cover the charge with a large self-vulcanizing patch to hold it firmly in place. After wiring the blasting cap to a slip ring mounted on the wheel of the prepared tire, wires are run from the slip ring to the tractor's interior, where we use the lighter as our power source. A simple downward push on our detonation button creates the explosion and gives us control over the exact timing of the blowout. Now it's time to compare the controllability during blowouts of the international tractor when fitted with X1s. In order to leave no lingering doubts in anyone's mind, we will blow out the right side drive tires. Well, it looks like all tires on the right hand side of the tractor are charged and ready to go. The vehicle will take a practice run. Our target speed is 55 miles per hour with a maximum speed of 60. The second run will be the actual blowout event. As you listen for the explosion, watch the vehicle closely for any type of violent sway or other types of out of control movements. There are none. The X1 blowouts are clearly non-events. There are no sudden uncontrollable movements and no loss of control. Let's look at it again from another angle this time watching each rig as it travels toward the camera. No trailer swing to the right, no sudden violent movements, no jackknifing, and certainly no loss of control. Most importantly, there is no difference between the two rigs and how they handle after the blowout event. However, Look closely at the top of the trailer and how it tilts to the side of the blowout. Right at the blowout event, the tilt is less in the X1 equipped vehicle. So what does the driver feel? We mounted a camera inside the vehicle to record all driver and vehicle movements during the blowout event. Let's watch and see what happens. Nothing. From the driver's perspective, there was no sudden jerking of the steering wheel and no sudden side-to-side -side movement. The driver maintained complete control throughout the entire blowout sequence. It's as if nothing happened. But something certainly did happen. It's amazing what a little C4 can do. Like the dual tire fitments, the X1s were completely blown out. The wheel flange did not ride on the road surface after the blowout 
which saved the wheel. Also, the tire did not dismount from its wheel during the blowout event. Most importantly, there was no loss of control of the tractor. Now let's look at the controllability of the trailer when fitted with X1s. For this demonstration, we'll be using an industry standard 53-foot fully loaded Heil tanker. To make it even more exciting, the tractor-trailer combination will be traveling in a left-hand curve. We'll blow both right-side X1s at the beginning of the curve and travel completely through the curve on flat tires to show controllability. Why the right-side tires? To simulate a worst-case scenario. More outward force will be applied to the right side or outer tires while the vehicle is in a left-hand curve, making the vehicle even more difficult to control. One of the biggest driver objections that must be overcome when replacing two tires with one is what happens when the mate cannot help carry the load as in a traditional dual tire fitment? The only way to answer the question is to prove it by blowing out both X1 trailer tires. Here we go. As you can see, blowing out both trailer X1s that replaces a set of duels is a non-event. In order to maintain a constant variable, we'll maintain a speed of 55 miles per hour through the curve. As you can see, even with both tires blown, the vehicle tracks through the curve perfectly. This time, we'll look at it again from multiple angles, watching each vehicle as it travels completely through the curve. trailer swing to the right, no sudden violent movements, no loss of control. We've proven that the most extreme dual and trailer blowouts are certainly controllable. So what about the most dreaded blowout of all, the steer tire? As you can see, the tractor dipped noticeably to the right. However, the tractor continued in a straight line and, most importantly, the rig stayed in its lane. Again, let's look at it from different angles. Watch the driver's hands on the steering wheel and notice the minimal amount of steering wheel correction he needed to control the tractor. So what did we learn? Front axle blowouts are also non-events when handled properly. Steers, drives, trailers. Regardless of where or when a blowout occurs, either on duels or X1s, it doesn't have to result in a catastrophe. As we've shown you today, blowouts are without question controllable. So what is a blowout? It's a tire that suffers a complete, rapid, total loss of air pressure, rendering the tire completely flat. When can it happen? Anytime the tire is structurally weak enough to fail. However, Having a rapid air loss does not automatically mean losing control. We're here to show you how to maintain control of your rig if a rapid air loss situation should occur. First of all, do not brake. In fact, panic braking is the worst possible thing you can do. Lifting your foot off the accelerator is the next worst thing you can do. The best solution for maintaining control during a blowout is under your right foot. Step on the accelerator to get power to the drive wheels. Yes, accelerate. The driver that participated in this video used Michelin's controllability technique, which is step on the accelerator and drive your lane. All blowouts were handled using this principle. For additional information on vehicle control after a blowout, contact Michelin North America for a copy of their video entitled, How to Handle a Blowout. We would like to thank International Truck and Engine and Heil Trailer International once again for allowing us to mount Michelin X1s on their vehicles for this demonstration. International Truck and Engine and Heil Trailer International have engineering resources to match their positions as one of the largest truck and tanker manufacturers in the world with worldwide research, development, and product planning capabilities. International Truck and Engine and Heil Trailer International also seek out leading suppliers such as Michelin to partner with and to bring our customers the best and safest trucks possible in the world. 
The benefits of these shared resources are experienced by our customers in every mile they travel in an international truck or with a Heil trailer. Thanks for watching and drive safely.